<laughs> okay. Oh, that's huh? Havoc? Hey, Psylocke's Oh, Psylocke? Yeah. I can't move. Magneto's fortress has been destroyed. Okay. All right, Jubilation. But what? Oh, 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 she's a remains babe. unanswered. I've always liked Psylocke. The only time she's not a babe is with the one where she's got the tiny head. Yeah. Where is Sabertooth? Huge body. Tiny Where's head. Sabertooth? Coming right at you, boy. Get out of here. This is between me and him. Level 9, the final. I hope it's just a fight with Sabertooth. I think that so. would be cool. That's what it seemed like the, the manual yeah. says. Oh Sweet. my god, it is. It's, yeah, this, literally, this is it. Oh my god. Fun. Ninja stars. You know what? Oh my god, please be that easy. Uh oh. Come hey. on, Paul. Birdie! Ha! Ah. Yeah, that was a bad move. Yeah. Alright, good. Continue. Okay. You got this. You can basically, like, stun lock him. That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't, like... It's easier said than done. I suppose that's true. Shit. There we go. No! Every time he gets knocked back, it like makes me think like I got him. Yeah, right. <sighs> you know, it's just about knowing the bounds of your punch. Does it say anything in the Does it say anything in the instructions about his claws? Like does it do a lot more damage? I would imagine it does. That's the whole point of it. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. So, apparently claws make you invincible, but using them sparingly because they drain your energy. But it didn't look like it drained invincible. that much. No. It's like, it's, a, uh, it's gotta be so much per swing, because that's when it drains when you attack. Oh, they don't make you uh, you're invincible. You're not invincible, for well, sure. Well, then this manual's full of shit. Oh, that's it. And the then, berserker thing might have been. No, and then when you go into the well, red. I mean, it says the top left one. No, it does. I, I, oh, I believe I you. It does. Okay. Let me see. What's over this way? There's oh, nothing. I wonder if you have to knock him off the cliff. There's nothing over this way. You might have to knock him off the cliff. Oh. You might have to tempt his ass over. Or just punch him all the way back, but he was like hopping over you. Yeah, what game did we play where we had. Oh, it was Cliffhanger! Oh, yeah! Three, four, one. Maybe you have to get him over there and then punch him to knock him back. That's dumb. That is stupid. God damn it, why do you do that? Hmm. That's all I can think of, really. Damn it. There is no way. I don't think that that's how you do it. Well, he's the only enemy we've fought so far that does that. Oh my god. That does that, you know what I mean? I can't. I, I don't know if I can do this. Maybe you have to try to actually punch him in the air, too. God, that, those low jumps that he does, those are damaging. There we go. No. Come on. Because there's always like a second before he's gonna attack you. Yeah. But I honestly, I have no idea. He looks like Santa. Looks like a mall Santa. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> with the with the legs with the and red. things. Yeah. Oof, boy, that takes away a lot. God of damn it! He takes a lot of hits. All right, so maybe you knock him back farther when he's in the air. That's, I really don't know. Is 
Because, like, what, what else would be the point? Jesus! Of back? <sighs> this is stupid. <sighs> Come on. This is it. Can no, I think you have one more. Can you please? Oh boy. And then he just jumps back. I don't, I honestly, I don't I, think. I don't know. I mean, you're very, you're, pro you're probably right. I, I'm I trying. Just, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm trying. Come on, jump! Fuck! Fuck! Okay. All right. Fast forward. God damn it! But at least now you know the whole game. Yeah, fucking do! <laughs> Can you please just jump over me? No? Okay, cool. Settle down and he just, he sometimes jumps back over you, and you keep trying to like get around him. Just wow, just like that, all the progress is gone. Oh. Just kill me, please, please. what the end of this was gonna be. Didn't, last hit. You didn't say it. Last so life. Count. Last. Oh, I definitely did at the beginning of this. Uh, there you go. The end. Did he come back in Wolverine 2: Revenge of Saber Hoof? No, well, there was an Adamantium Rage on the Super Nintendo. There was. Wolverine Adamantium know. Rage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's just that was the end. Just him with the mask off, looking into the sunset. That was it. Dreaming of better days. <laughs> oh fuck! Wool ver fucking Ean. That's a dumb boss. Yeah, that was stupid. That was really, really, really. At stupid. least cliffhangers was a lot easier to pull off. I just hate how unnecessarily long that cliff is. Yeah. Like, that, it didn't have to be that long. No. Wow! Is that it? Does it have another screen, or uh, is it just gonna play this rockin' badass music? Yeah, game that's over. it. Game over. Player one. And then it goes right back in. Alright! So game 240. Wolverine. In the bank. Nice job. Nice fucking job. <sighs> One hour, 
15 minutes. That's it? That's it. God almighty. Felt like forever. Three hours. (laughs) Yeah. It did not feel that long. Or it did not feel that short. One player game. I wonder if you can actually. There's two player. Yeah. I mean. Does it just. Alternating. Oh, that's not even. It's not even a thing. No. It's stupid. Why in a game like this would you have something like that? I don't know. Like, there's no. There's no reason. No. Well, there you go. Wolverine for the Ness. Yeah. Not much to say about it, really. No. Uh, as, as far as that. Better than X-Men, but still not very good. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the, my exact words, it's definitely leaps and bounds better than Uncanny X-Men, but I don't know if I would ever brag about this game. Fuck no. Ugh. I wouldn't brag that I could beat it. Mm. <laughs> So no, enjoy, really... ba- enjoy bearing that burden. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm just glad I beat it and I didn't have to do it over again. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those games, too, where it's like, well, like, we we kept alluding kind of to, like, Bram Stoker's Dracula, where it's like, yeah. the whole game is just nothingness. Yeah. It's just instant kills and cheap cheap hits. Mm-hmm. That's the only, it. The only thing is that it's very forgiving as, like, your life bar is... Oh, yeah. Well... Well, I'll I'll say to a degree the game is forgiving because there were certain times where it seemed like I could take a lot of hits, but then when you are touching like an enemy, oh, oh yeah. my god, your life bar just go it drops like an anvil. Yeah, it, I noticed that. Oh, but it seemed. Well, let's get into it. What would you give the game for a difficulty? For a difficulty, I'm actually leaning towards like a four. Really? Yeah. I was going to go three. Maybe even a three. Uh, I I would say even a three, just because of the fact that... So you have limited continues. Yes. But you get... There are places where you can actually earn, like, get continues. And not only when you die, but also when you continue, you start exactly where you left off. Yeah. Like, the exact point. You're not starting all the way over. There are not many games that do that. Exactly. Exactly. The enemies are really not that difficult. There's no bosses except for Magneto and Sabretooth. And Magneto, I'm sorry, is pretty, like, lame. He was a joke he is for pretty, Magneto. He's pretty lame. They really made Magneto kind of a bitch in these yeah, games. Yeah, they did. Like, he was... Uh, he does nothing. No. And, and you have to destroy his lightning gate, which, granted, it can kill you instantly, but... It's super easy to avoid. So they re drops a few rocks on you, big fucking Yeah, wall. exactly. And then you just basically brute strength him until he runs away. Yeah. You know, it takes about six or seven hits, and then he's he's gone. Um, and Sabretooth is just like... It's just stupid. It's just stupid. Yeah. Stupid mechanics where you just have to hit him off the cliff. Like, ugh. I mean, is that accurate to the comic? Has he ever knocked Sabretooth off of a cliff? Not that I'm aware of. I think of. they've thrown each other off Maybe cliffs Maybe they've before. thrown each other off cliffs before, but not, like, no... It wouldn't kill either. Besides, of them. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't kill him. Yeah, it's only cutting off his head. They can fly. Yeah. yeah. Well, and even then, only the old, it has to be a specific thing cutting off. Oh, a off specific his head. sword. The yeah, uh, what the is Mazamu. it? The, the, the Kurgan sword. Mur- Muramasa. Was it Muramasa? Yeah, Muramasa. Muramasa. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it, it Wolverine was, is lame. I'm yeah. sorry. He's just so stupid. So I yeah I I would I would agree three yeah. because I mean this is the first time I've ever played this game and to beat it within an hour and fifteen minutes pretty like, bad yeah that's yeah. not to mention the fact that like you literally never used your claws no the there's, whole there's, thing there's, of Wolverine there is, is his claws. literally no incentive to use his claws no. in this well, game well and it's weird because the instruction booklet says that you're invincible while you use your claws no anything but, but you're not no you are not you are definitely not the you only are still time taking you're actually invincible is, is when you have the berserk power yeah which could you could get theoretically pretty easily I mean there's plenty of opportunities get, yeah, if, if you, you don't get good. hit yeah yeah if you get good you're, you can get berserk but even then like it just it feels like this could have been decent. Mm-hmm. Never got to see Had that. it not been an LJN. It was a well, decent. Like the, uh, it was a decent platformer. Published game. Like, yeah. It was a decent platformer. I think that like with a little bit of fine tuning, it could have been a really like it could have been a good game. When did this come out? Nineteen ninety or ninety one. Ninety one, I, think. I believe. Is what That's it is. sad. Yeah, probably That's 91. That's pretty late in the cycle. I yeah. Mean, this, they could have done much oh, better yeah. with this. Oh, very much so. But then again, like we said, it's an LJN published game. Yeah, 91. So chances 91. are the company yeah. they got to develop it, which, what did I say it was? Software Creations? Mm-hmm. They're, they're nobodies. Yeah, They don't know what the fuck they're doing. No. It's, it's, they're they were, like beams. It was, they're like 
oceans. They were trying to, to get the job done for as little as possible. Whoever came in at the lowest bid, that's who they picked, and it was software creation for this one. So Yeah, so, I mean, it's just... Um, I, I feel like you could have almost, like, combined X-Men and this, like, put the platforming and action of this game with the bosses of the first game. Oh, yeah. And you would have had a really good... You would have had a really good product. Honestly, as much as we shit on uh, Sinister Six, it actually was... You fought all the people. You fought every and, one of the Sinister and, yeah, Six. Yeah, and it was yeah. actually not a bad thing. No. Like, they were pretty accurately represented. Yeah, 100%. And then you had, like, the k cool little, like, comic book cutscene things in it, and... Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, this just feels like it's Wolverine by name only. Yeah, well, and, well, the, the characters, some of the characters. I Actually, mean, and they've made better games. It was software creation. Yeah. Software creations? Like what? <laughs> well, let's see, Silver Surfer is one of theirs. Oh, Sky that makes, Shark, that Ghouls makes and sense. Ghosts, well, so much like Silver They also Surfer. made Magic Johnson's Fast Break. Yeah. Kiwi Craze, though. That was Tom and Jerry, one. Gauntlet 3, Terminator 2, that explains yeah. a lot. Spider-Man and X-Men. Oh, and Arcade's Revenge. Yeah. Blaster uh, Master 2. There, oh, there was a Blaster Master 2. I completely forgot about that. Incredible Crash wow. Test Dummies. Ugh. Oh, and they did Maximum Carnage, too. So, I mean, <gasps> they did Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball. Oh, my God. That is, like, my favorite. Oh, they did Tin Star. That was my favorite sports game of all time. So, the N64 version yeah. of Hexen? So, apparently, they I mean, they hit their stride later. Yeah, it took, some, it took them some time. <laughs> Which, so. I suppose, Atlas... Bethesda yeah. all hit their strides later in their life. Yeah, but like this was just all right. Well, out of nothingness, it was easy. What do you give this game for fun? <sighs> maybe I will say maybe I'm a little. It's got a great soundtrack. I'm a little more forgiving <laughs> coming off of X Men. I'm Kenny X Men. I was gonna go like two. It's actually not a bad looking platformer graphically. It's actually pretty good. I would say. And it looks decent. Like, the stages felt, ver like, varied. Granted, we don't know what stage five is. Yeah, that's true. But, like, it felt like there was a decent amount of, like, environment change. This, you're right. The soundtrack was actually pretty banging. You you might not agree with me. I'm thinking at least a four. Maybe even a four. Jesus. Maybe, maybe a five. Christ. But probably a four for fun. Definitely not a five. So, here's the thing, though. All right. Here's the thing. Let me hear your thing here. When comparing this to X-Men, yes. obviously you have to make the comparison. Graphics, much, much, much better. better. Much better. The this hit, looks like a much more enjoyable detection, experience. even though it's still a little bit bad in this, much, much better than the first one. Soundtrack, you really can't go wrong with Tim Follin. I love his music. It's kicking from start to finish. Absolutely loved it. He did a good... This was a good one. The level designs, while they may be bland, I would dare say that this game has replayability still to it. Still better than X-Men. Because of the yeah. fact that in level two, we still haven't found where you find Psylocke to get the remote get to havoc. bring in Havoc. In level four, you can find Jubilee so that you can have that extra that extra stuff. In each one of the levels, it seemed like there was a hidden area that you could go in to get like one-ups and continues, whatever Ooh, it is. Yeah. If you haven't found anything in, say, level two or level three, it's like, okay, I didn't find what the secret item was or what the secret area was in there. I kind of want to play it again. And to be quite honest, the game is relatively short. Yeah. So it's yeah. like you're not investing a whole lot of time playing through it again. So it's a nice game that you can just kind of pick up and just make it at least halfway through the game in literally about 10 minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like it does have replayability. There doesn't have, like, there's nothing that's really long lasting in this game, no. which is why I think I would keep it at a four. Um, because, like I said, you you had so much promise, but they only used Magneto and they used Sabretooth, which granted two of the the main villains in the X Men and with Wolverine Especially particularly. What Magneto's a villain of the X Men? Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, he's like literally in every fucking game. Just about, yeah. But to be quite honest, I mean, as far as a platformer goes, it's pretty decent. Like, yeah. I can't really fault it for anything like uh, that. It's you just said other than the fumbled controls with, and like, the, corner jumping. It, yes. It's the same thing that, that happened with Holy Diver. And, like I said, some of the hit detection is really just kind of, like, you. it's hard to tell where the hitboxes are, especially with your character. It's hard to, to 
find out where it's coming from. Oh, music was Jeff Follin. So it was, oh. his, it was his brother. It was Tim Follin's brother. Okay. But either way, the Follin brothers are just, they're, they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, I honestly, I would give this game a four. It's it, by no stretch of the imagination is it great, but I don't think it deserves a two. I don't think it deserves to be that low. How about we split the difference and go three? I, I agree still, with all your points, I still but, would be happier but, with a four. You hear me out. The reason it should not be a four is because this game doesn't utilize what Wolverine is about. The claws. That's Wolverine. The, the fucking claws. You never use them. Right, you don't I'll have to you. fight anything in this fucking game. I'll give you that. You can. You, you literally was, just ran through ninety percent of the threats. And it was literally only one time <laughs> was I able to make to to make it to Berserker status. Yes. Like the enemies are pretty much inconsequential. Yeah. They're just there to piss you off, because you jumped over the guys with the bazookas. Mm -hmm. I don't even think you killed a single one of them. Nope. No. No. Like, I never. I never fought any one of them. Most of the threat, yeah. like that, completely goes against everything Wolverine is. is yeah. It's, I'm aggressive. It's, I'm going to kill shit. It basically eliminates beat 'em up status when this was pretty much probably going to be marketed as a platforming beat 'em up. Yeah. Like yeah. If, if this had, it just. There's so much missed opportunity in it that it's like, yeah, the soundtrack's great and the graphics are great, it, but just it, it doesn't embody what the game should be, which is he's the fucking Wolverine. Yeah. Like, I want to slice up motherfuckers. Yeah. That's why I didn't really like him either in like the Genesis X Men, because oh, like his sure. claws are a power. Yeah. It's like no, like that's not. I think the first one that that actually changed in was. X Men on the Super Nintendo, Mutant Apocalypse, yeah. where you could actually use his claws, and it was like that was just part of his, uh, like yeah. his powers. It, like that should it wasn't always like just you weren't losing life. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, which Mutant Apocalypse came before Clone Wars, right? Yes, I believe so. Because I, because yeah. I know in Clone Wars you could use the claws whenever you wanted; it didn't hurt you, and if you put them away, he'd actually heal. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it still drained your like your skill gauge because you had like a. a skill bar because you couldn't always use all your powers you could actually run out in clone wars yeah that's the one for genesis right that's yeah. the second one for genesis that was the second one yeah yeah that's the the one we were which is the one i'm thinking of that you're thinking of x-men one they're probably thinking I, because, because play as gambit yeah and, and uh, well you i don't know if you could play as gambit yeah i thought that was you you had gambit as a oh no you could you could play as yeah. gambit i'm sorry yes you're thinking of the first one Okay. And you did have a, a mutant meter. Yeah, like Nightcrawler, yeah. like, you could teleport, but you could only teleport, like... So and it, much. And it would constantly, like, slowly regenerate if you didn't oh, okay. move. But, I mean, it would take forever and a day for it to, to yeah, pull so up again. Yeah, so this is the second one. Yeah, I feel like, like Cyclops, that's... if you held the button, it would charge the meter. Yeah, I... But you no, Oh, you, no, yeah, I only played the first. You have unlimited use of your mutant powers. Yeah, I never... So. I never. Because you can be beast in this one, too. But I will yeah. I will say... I, I will agree with you in the sense that they, there's literally no reason to ever use his claws. And in no. fact, it's pretty much discouraged for <laughs> you to ever use his claws. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. Splitting the difference, like we'll, said, we'll put it at a three. If, you, if it was just platforming man whatever fighting yeah. weird goofy putty men and then there's a guy with some magnet powers and then goofy ninja stuff and there's really him. not much yeah, of a variety when it comes to the enemies it's always the same i think it's like the same three enemies basically yeah, yeah. so i mean that's then then we could have i i could have creeped it up to the four but it's yeah. like the source material no well, you're right you're right they have a yeah. lot of lore to take from, and they really didn't. So yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Just like Uncanny X Men was, it was just unfortunate. There's so much you could have done with it. Yeah, and that's what you came up with. Like, all right, yeah, give this give this license to Taito, and they would have came up with a fucking much better. Look what didn't Taito do? Werewolf, or was that? Uh, I don't think they did. Who the hell did Werewolf? Uh, shoot. The Last Warrior. Data East. Data East. Was that Data East? It was yeah, Data it was Data East. East. Yep. All right, just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, much. Data well, it's East. still better somehow. It was yeah, still better. I though. definitely enjoyed Werewolf yeah. more than this. Yeah, I did. Or more, yeah, yeah, but all right, yeah. Let's three, three right. for difficulty, three for fun. What did you pay for Wolverine? So Wolverine, if I am not mistaken, this is one that I actually believe I picked this up. Back when GameStop was still selling Nintendo games, so I got this one for one ninety nine. 
Okay. That's not I didn't. Bad. Yeah, I didn't pay much for it, I remember. I don't think it's, it generally ever did. I mean, it still doesn't... I feel like you see it. It's it's pretty, common. Yeah, you it's see it It's pretty quite common. Quite well, as of this video on PriceCharting.com, 18 even. Mm. 18 bucks. Oh. Sadly... I don't think it's worth it. I no. don't believe it. I'd go up to like five bucks tops for this. No, I, I would say ten. I would yeah. say ten, but it's eighteen dollars. No, you're there's starting. To, there's a lot better out there for cheaper. Yeah, there's better quality games you can get than yeah, fucking Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. X Men, Uncanny X Men. <laughs> Granted, I will say this. No. Whoever did like the artwork here for like the not only the the, the title but then the, the pictures of Wolverine, mm -hmm. like this one, the one at the Even end, the ones in game were like bad. they did great yeah. with the pixel art for these. Like the Psylocke portrait looked really good. Yeah, like the graphics actually were pretty pretty good, which is why I agree with the three. I wonder what Havocs would have like what his screen graphic would have looked like, like yeah. what, if they showed his face like up close or something like that. Yeah, maybe maybe once we're so. done, you can try to find him on area on level two. It's just, yeah, it's right it's on level two, far. so it's not far yeah, into the it's game. Not that yeah, far maybe yet. it will. But so there you guys go. Right. I, I don't believe it's worth it either. There's no. just not enough here to really no, like two player. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like the levels are kind of short, and like we found one warp. There might have been others, maybe. I wonder if there was, but, it, but it's so. It, it seems so weird though to put any are, kind of like a warp in there. It was just an arbitrary spot to put it too. Yeah. Like in yeah. the middle of a waterfall right there. Like you think a, a little nook or that basically you find like you on just accident find by traversing. Well, but it's it's funny because the first thing I did was I jumped out of the water so that I could catch my breath, and it's like you jump out and you're. You, <laughs> you were good. You got the warp. Yeah. It's it like, was what? <laughs> very strange. So. But there we go. That'll yeah, do it for Wolverine. 3-3. Three, three, no. For 18 bucks. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. That is. Well, so, we delivered on our promise. We this did. This was better. Yeah. This was. And Not, you didn't believe me. Uh, a monochrome better. One iota as... Uh, uh, not Shyamalan. What's his name? Tarantino would say. Quentin Tarantino. One iota. <laughs> I, I, this game is better. One iota. One iota. One iota. <laughs> Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Go to PowerTripGaming.tv. <laughs> Takes you right to the channel with us. Yes, you can also check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, where you can listen to our podcast, the PTG Powercast. Where we talk about all sorts of stuff. Yes, you can also, if you do not want to check us out on social media, if you do not like social media, that is A-OK. -okay. You can email us at nespowertrip at gmail.com, and we will get back to you. So leave us your questions, leave us your comments, oh. leave us your suggestions, and we will answer. Mamma mia, bud. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Next time on Power Trek. We will play something better. <sighs> Let's go, bub. <laughs> Berserker Claw. <laughs> Berserker Claw. Oh, wait, that's, no. Berserker, Berserker Rush. Rush. There we go. That's Berserker Claw was, was Sabertooth. Berserker Claw. Oh, God. <laughs>